What's up guys? I'm gonna open this video with a very special announcement. My debut novel, The Roar of a Dragon, is finally available for pre-order on Amazon.com. So get your copy while you can. I wanna once again thank all my family and friends for their amazing support. They've been sharing my posts and they've, some of them have already pre-ordered the book and I really, really appreciate that. I love you guys! So in honor of this special occasion, I am going to take you deep into the secrets of the Roar of a Dragon. This binder holds a majority of the research that I did for my book, along with a lot of writing and a lot of other stuff. So let's see what's in it. I haven't looked in it in a while, so let's see what's in it. This is writing for the original manuscript that I had printed out. I mean, I have tons of tons of paper of this. I have a little guide for good writing from the ground up that I write every once in a while, and it helped me uh, <clears throat> keep the foundation of the story intact. So that was a good thing to have in there. So research that I did on daily life in the Middle Ages because I wanted things to be, I wanted the basics to be as authentic as possible. So I studied, like I said, daily life in the Middle Ages and I studied farming so that, because Aiden was originally a farmer, it would make things more authentic when I wrote the farming scenes. Also that gave me a great deal more material, material to write. So that's a good advice for aspiring authors and things like that. If you're having trouble coming up with things to write, Maybe the answer is to learn something new about your character, and that'll give you all sorts of ideas. It did for me. It's the original map that I drew for the world that I am writing about. I sent this map to Rowanvale Books and had it designed and put in the book, but so much of it was illegible that I had to keep some of it out because my writing is just terrible, and I was just writing things as I went along. So I basically created like the major um, like provinces or whatever, and as I was writing, I added more things, but it was tough to tell exactly uh, what I was writing so they just added what they could but uh, it looks good more printed out versions of the manuscript some notes that I had taken oh my goodness it's about the cult that's involved in the Roar of a Dragon and one of the characters that was in it that got written out but he'll probably be in book two cities and races and people in the races and cities I, I did all all kinds of freaking ridiculous work on this I wrote out the ages like the different ages of the world First Age, the Age of Establishment. Second Age, the Elven Wars. Third Age, the Age of Magic. Fourth Age, the Mage Wars. And Fifth, Invasion of the Minotaurs. So that is, uh, that's what I wrote. I don't know if it's gonna be the final, but that's what I wrote for the different ages that this world that I have created. Ooh, I have the truth about Aiden's powers here, but I can't reveal that yet. That's a secret. And check it out. First laptop started giving me problems. I started writing in a notebook. Yep, I wrote with pen and paper. I wrote a lot of this book on pen and paper, and then I had it transferred to my laptop when I got it. Don't let the lack of a computer stop you from writing. More book notes. If you can see that paper, it's really old. So, yeah, that was uh, that was some of my other stuff that I did a long, long, long time ago. Oh, I found a picture from Christian in here. It says, I'm on top of the highest building in the country. I think I'm the king of the world. I see the ocean from here. Your son, Christian. P.S. It's fun being up here. <laughs> He's such a goof. Well, that's actually it. I kind of thought there was more in there, but you definitely got a glimpse of the work that I did but over 10 years of work. I don't know how long it's been uh, since I started writing this book. And the release date has been announced for March 31st. I am very excited. That's why you can pre-order right now on Amazon. It is available on paperback and ebook. The ebook will be free if you rather, rather go that route. You can also check out my profile on Amazon.com. I have an author profile on there, and I also also have an author profile on Goodreads.com. So check that out. Give some ratings if you want. And I already wrote a Facebook status on this, but if you're going to leave a rating for The Roar of a Dragon, please feel free to leave an honest review. I will not be upset if there's constructive criticism in there or honest criticism in there. Um, I've learned the importance of that kind of thing. So you know, don't be afraid to give the book whatever you feel it deserves. Um, there will be no hard feelings. As I've always said, you can say my work sucks, but you have to tell me why it sucks. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, thank you for all your support. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I don't know that I'll ever be able to repay you guys, but, you know, uh, I'll do what I can. Also, a couple things before I go. One, I have a special request from a friend of mine, so I'm going to refill that request right now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That was special for you. You know who you are, and you're very welcome. Also, one more thing. Um, some friends of mine tragically lost their three-year-old son a few days ago. Losing a child is um, the biggest fear I know of. I mean, it's the thing I'm scared most of in this world. So I can't possibly imagine how they feel. So my condolences go out to John Gonzalez and Jean Palmatier for the loss of your son, Lucas. 
if you'd like to donate to their cause, they have a, a fund set up at Sunmark Bank in Boston Spa. It's called the Lucas Gonzalez Benefit Fund. So um, check that out. And once again, my condolences to the family. As always, it's Bobby's world, and you're all just living in it. CLC for life, y'all. Bye.